Hello there, good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. So on this video, we're going to talk about Design AI. Convert image to 3D animations, image to image AI tool. And right now, I'm currently inside Design, formerly known as Stylar AI. I have a video about Stylar, so please check it out before it was turned into Design. Before we get started, of course, as best practice, let's check on the prices. So as of now, I'm currently using the free plan which generates 32 regular Q credits per day. Again, those are regular compared to the pay plan which is fast. Still, that's going to be a good trial since this is going to be free. Anyway, let's go back on the dashboard. Now, once we're here, click on image to image. So welcome back to the video. You're going to be arriving in the main platform or the editing platform of design. First thing, this is sample image. So what you want to do for this one is go to layers. You can simply delete this one. Click on the three dots right there and click on delete. Or just click on and check for that one and it will be gone on your platform. Anyway, for this one, I'm going to click on delete. And right now, I have a blank Canva. Now for the aspect ratio, go on the numerical options on the top left corner. Now since this is going to be a YouTube video, let's go for 16 by 9 which is the most famous YouTuber solution. Click on apply and we have this. Alright, so click on this one and choose an image we're looking for. So I'm just going to choose a sample image I have here, mainly focusing on a simple woman. I'm going to go with this one. Alright, just wait for it to upload. By the way guys, those images, I got them from Midjourney, such like this one. I have a video about Midjourney, so please check them out. It's a very comprehensive video. So on this upper section right there, you can choose the style. There's going to be countless or just so much styles to choose from this one. Now, I'm going to choose for the filters here, starting from general, realistic, app to tattoo. There's going to be portrait, line art, even realistic for this one. For this video, I'm going to first try on anime. So which one are we going to go for this one? I think I'm going to go for narrative film. Since it's have right there, focus on the tools right here. Style intensity is going to be how much your style will depend on your template. As you can see right there, how strong your choosing style is presented in the result. Structure match is going to be how well the generated image matches the input composite in terms of the content structure. What it means is that the higher the structure matches, the more it will complement or it will follow the photo uploaded. Now, this are going to be the default value. And this is what I'm going to have for the first sample. So for the color match, basically preserve the color. I'm going to apply face match also. So this preserves the identity. And basically make sure, of course, high quality is the best. Advanced gives you the negative prompt. So I'm just going to default that one. And generate this one. Since I don't have a prompt just yet, I'm going to sample this one for the first trial. Alright, welcome back to the video. Now, these are going to be the results for our default metric. Again, that is going to be the 0.8 style intensity, structure match of 0.5, and the high quality face match and color match are going to be on. And then the one from above, these are going to be for the 0.4 style intensity. That's going to be the difference. So we can now compare which one is better. Now, personally, I think the 0.4 works better for the quality, right? Anyway, I can just double click in each one of them, placing them on my Canva. And I'm going to show you something really awesome here. Now, once everything is placed on the Canva, go to Layer. As you can see right here, you can now compare which one is better. If I deselect everything, like so, what I'm doing right now, this is going to be the original image. So if I just want to check something, comparing the two right there, I can now simply compare which one is better. Alright, I think the 0.4 really hits different. Now, just choose which one you want. For example, I'm going to choose two right there. Click on the export option. So for this one, you can choose JPEG, PNG, and SVG. Since we're using the free trial, only use JPEG or JPG. Upscale for 1% since we're only using the free trial. We cannot remove the watermark because that's going to be for the paid subscription. Alright? So you can zip and download three layers or basically download the one that's going to be selected. Now if I click on download for that one, those images will now go on my computer. Easy as that. Now if you want to download everything that's selected, zip and download, click the zip file, 
And basically for this, open the one that says the file, extract everything, choose the file destination, and then basically go to your desktop. So we have it right there. Everything you have selected, this one, and that one, and of course that one. Again, we have that watermark for that being said, since we have a free trial. Now going back on the results page, you can download them individually. As you can see, there's a download. There is a compare option. So if you just click on this one, hold it up, you can now compare. Of course, there's the save an asset. As you can see right there, I can save this one. And you can share it, of course. You can share it to your copy link. Or basically, choose it as a published public. Alright? Now, you're gonna see this one. Variation 1, variation 2, and 3. If I select 3 right there, that specific number 3rd image or number 3 is gonna be regenerated for a new image. Alright? So, that will take a few minutes. I'll get back to you once it's here. So, welcome back to the video. These are going to be the variation of the number 3 from earlier. Same process, you can download, save as asset, or compare each one of them. Alright? Now before we wrap things up, go to layers, deselect everything except for the original, and then change the film, or basically change the template. Go for all styles, and there's one here that says Curie. Now that is going to be a really weird, a really cute word, so instant cutie for you. And basically, let's have fun with this one. So everything is basically the same. Click on generate and I'll get back to you once it's here. So welcome back to the video. Again, this is our original image, right? And this is what we have now. A Disney Pixar or basically a cutie. And then there's gonna be a compare. Now I wanna highlight the teeth, okay? There's a little bit thick going on there. And basically it has been captured. By the way guys, you can zoom on this option. Zoom the image. Basically how you see fit. As you can see right there, depends on you guys. Alright? And basically that's it. So thank you so much for watching. Please hit the like button and subscribe. I'll catch you guys on the next one. Goodbye for now.